Positive news for a Thunder Bay youth who experienced medical distress over the weekend. Good evening and thank you for joining us. A 13-year-old boy who nearly drowned Saturday at the Art Widnall Pool is alert and speaking. That's according to the latest update from his mother, who is by his side as the young teen receives treatment at a Southern Ontario hospital. Lee Noonan has been following the story and joins us in studio. Lee. Thanks, Haley. Police are investigating the incident that led to the boys' hospitalization, and they're making an appeal to the public, asking everyone who was at the pool Saturday evening and may have witnessed the incident to come forward. A local boy who was airlifted to London following a near drowning at the Art Widnall Pool Saturday evening is now talking. That's according to his mother, but despite a light-hearted post saying 13-year-old Kevin was up and asking for donuts and screen time, Jenny Pelliquin says her son has had nightmares about the incident and that he remembers being beat up and pushed into the water. Kevin was rescued from the pool by city lifeguards, which is generally a student summer job. Our lifeguards at Woodnell Pool conducted a rescue in response to a medical emergency. I really can't speak to any, any details, but we are providing support to those individuals from a stressful situation. According to EMS, Kevin had a decreased level of consciousness when paramedics arrived on scene. He had aspirated liquid and his airways required suction, with paramedics assessing his condition at the highest level of urgency and severity. Paramedics also reported hearing multiple conflicting stories on the scene when trying to assess what happened. Meanwhile, city police are working to establish just that, a clear picture of the events leading to Kevin's near drowning. The Major Crimes and Forensic Identification Unit are involved in the investigation. They're looking for eyewitnesses to come forward and urging the public to avoid speculation, saying it could interfere with the investigation. The city is also conducting its own internal investigation in order to understand and address all aspects of the incident. The safety and well-being of our staff and our patrons is our priority. We are providing support to the staff that were involved in the rescue and our thoughts are with the patron and their family and we are very hopeful for a speedy recovery for them. Kevin was transferred from the hospital here for specialized treatment in a London, Ontario facility. A GoFundMe set up to support the family and offset their travel costs has raised more than $30,000 so far. Lee Noonan, TBT News.